Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Simworks Studio's new amphibious version of their famed Kodiak here in Canada. And this should be released very soon, in fact I think it'll be the 12th of October. So you'll either be seeing this video before or after that. And please bear in mind that this is a beta, so this is not the final product. So if you see something a bit weird, no doubt it'll already be fixed for that uh, sort of public release version and by the way talking of that this has been in beta for a very long time now because the water physics in Microsoft Flight Simulator does leave a lot to be desired so Simwork Studios have really been trying to sort of tailor their physics the best they can given the limitations of the sim at the moment so that's worth noting and it's an absolute beautiful beast I mean look at it it's absolutely massive especially on those floats and it's worth noting in VR and I'll, we'll go into the cockpit now, that when you're sat here in VR, it's amazing how high you feel. And that plays its part when you're coming into land. You know, when you're flaring, uh, you actually sort of misjudge it sometimes, even in VR, because you forget how massive those floats are. So it's quite a challenge to land this. And I imagine in real life, that will be quite a big factor as well. Now it's worth noting that for previous Kodiak users, this is going to be only about 10 euros, which is incredible value for money, in my opinion. Also, if you do not own the previous uh, Kodiak, this is going to be 15 euros. Bear in mind as well that this has all of the latest features of the uh, previous Kodiak, that is engine simulation, turbine simulation, all the kind of good stuff you want to see, like uh, hot starts, hung starts, the click spots all work very well in VR and it's basically business as usual in terms of the PBR work, 4K textures. It all looks very, very nice. This is my first impression video and I think what we'll do is we'll take off from here uh, and then find a nearby lake to see what it feels like. Maybe do a takeoff and then land back again. Anyway, let's get this aircraft fired up now. You've probably seen me do the startup a hundred times on the channel because I'm a massive fan of the Kodiak. But nevertheless, I'll do it really quickly. Beacon is on, fuel valve is on. Get these guys on as well. Make sure that we're locked into the seat here. <laughs> right, ignitions can be switched to on and the fuel pump can go to on as well. Cup holder, very important. That's for our beer. <laughs> now remember folks, it's very, very important to Keep an eye on the NG when we fire this up because, as I say, hot starts and hung starts are simulated now. We're also doing the AHRS alignment. So I think we should top out at about 21% NG. We're going to introduce low idle. Notice how the ITT is gradually building which is good. We don't want it to shoot up and spike up. That would be very bad. Which is modelled. We're now in the green here. This is looking like a very nice start. All the engine sounds are pretty much exactly the same as you'd expect from the Kodiak. Apart from this module here, this is very important. This is your sort of water and runway landing annunciator. We can test that. Runway landing. Gear is down for runway land. Very nice. We've got the air conditioner, which is all modelled, by the way. If you put this on, you go to auto, it works just like your car, climate control. We'll keep everything at low idle for now. And we'll put our nav light on, taxi light on, fuel pump can go off now. And we'll let the engine warm up a little bit. Right folks, I think we're ready to taxi to the runway. If you're wondering, I'm using my AMXY head tracker for this particular uh, sort of first impressions look, just so you can see the aircraft in all its glory. I tend to do that these days when I'm showing an aircraft off for the first time, because uh, as you know, when you're in VR, you know, you lose a lot of quality. But, you know, bear in mind that I am in VR 99% of the time when I'm flying. <laughs> and I've flown this in VR many times now. Look at the scattering there and the beautiful effects. Right, landing light coming on, taxi light off, strobes on. You can 
position lever. We're now going to go into high idle mode. T's and P's are all looking very good. I think we're ready, guys. Here we go. Just pull up the view a little bit there. Keep an eye on that torque there. so smooth. She feels great to fly and you can feel the drag as well from those huge floats. The flight dynamics have been changed accordingly which I really love. It's funny because I've you know seen how this aircraft has evolved because of the beta they've really like Alex has taken such a long time to get the physics right. He could have released this absolutely ages ago, but he was very particular about, you know, the water physics and getting them to the best they possibly can be considering the host sim. Now this is a uh, world update 11. We're in Canada today, as you know. Um, oh God, wow, very, very nice. I must say there's a few little areas that are a bit dodgy, like you can see there, 12 o'clock is a bit of a mesh problem but you know what I'm not going to cry about it too much I think people are crying too much on the forums and not realizing that what we have is friggin incredible so what I think we'll do folks because I'm not messing around too much on this first impressions I'm just going to find a lake now we'll head over in this direction here and I'll show you what it's like to land this aircraft on water Again, I have to mention VR. It really is quite a treat uh, in VR because you just really sense that feeling of being on the water. Yeah, she feels very fluid in the air. And what I mean by that is it actually reminds me of the Cessna 414 by FlySimware. There's a few aircraft out there now, and I mean just a few, that feel very, um, yeah, like you really are floating around in the air rather than it being on rails. And it's a fantastic feeling because you kind of feel that you're riding on the thermals. Oh, look at that for a shot there. That is epic. Wow. Okay, folks, we've found ourselves a lake. So it's now time to uh, get ourselves configured. We're really fast. So I might just do a slight side slip, which look at that straight away is bleeding off speed. That's the flight modeling coming into play once again. There's a lot going on uh, under the hood with this aircraft, particularly with the turbine dynamics. You can really feel it and sense it. And things like, say if you're in a headwind, it will cool the engine down. It's those little details that people probably won't even notice, but it plays a huge part in the overall sort of quality of this aircraft add-on. Like that, right. Now in the flat range. You can hear the uh, rumbling there. I'm still side slipping here. That is opposite aileron and rudder control input. It's always good fun doing this. Really test out the model in my opinion. And this is a huge lake here, so uh, we've got plenty of room for our water landing today. 500. Easing on the rudder now. You know, I know I keep saying this guys, but this sim is mind-blowing, isn't it? Right, flaring now. I remember flaring a bit earlier than I normally would. Holding off, holding off. There we go. See how we're bobbing up and down there on the waves, although it's very still late, thankfully. I 
love the uh, wake effect as well on the water. That's very nice. Okay, what we'll do now is we'll take off again so you can sort of have an idea what the physics is like. Look at the sounds. Now, as we take off... Stop. Whoa. As we take off, I didn't feel like I became unstuck from the water like a lot of amphibious float planes are like in the sim. I think they've done a fantastic job here to make it feel like, you know, you really are landing on water. And it's definitely even better in VR, as you can imagine. I'll right, we'll just uh, turn around in this valley here and we'll go for one more landing on this lake. One thing I would really like to see, and I'm not sure if it's something that uh, Alex and the team can implement, is the water spray. You know, that water effect you get, even a rain effect would look good on the windows, just to make it feel a bit more sort of immersive, shall I say. <laughs> Be very careful with this bird, because if you get too sort of, uh, you know, slow, you will go into a spin very, very quickly with this thing. Right. Flaps are coming down. And we'll go for one more landing. I'll do it outside if I can, just so you can see again the behaviour of the aircraft. I love how it's sort of bobbing up and down there, that is fantastic. Ah. Yeah, that's very nice. We can even go into reverse mode if you want to. Don't really need it, but I'll just show you it in the video. Of course, we've got the rudders as well, you can uh, bring down so you can uh, have excellent handling as well. So at this point, in fact, the other day, I was in VR, right? I just landed. I was in the, the Foten Islands in Norway with this aircraft, and I just sat there for quite a while just admiring the view whilst in the water in VR. It's just superb. What I'll do is I'll just cut the engine so you can hear the sound of the, uh, the water to finish this video off. Oh, look at that for a view. Just open the window. But we'll take the air conditioning off as well because it's quite loud. Very loud, in fact. And now it's all beautifully serene. Just the sound of the waves and my annoying voice. So there we are, I hope you enjoyed my first impressions of the brand new Floatiac by Simworks Studios. It's an absolute winner in my opinion, and uh, especially in VR. Thank you so much for watching, as always, I do really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, as 80% of my viewers who watch my content regularly are not subscribed. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye bye for now.